Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engraver. So I'm going to show you our Quest 1824 engraver. And it's hooked up to our Q3D box right here. And our new pendant. And we're going to be doing some braille with our auto braille raster. Let me just zoom in on it. And you can see the uh, accent pin and the beading tube and the cylinder. And the tools that are required that we're using, all I'm going to be using is a spline wrench and then this cutter is a uh, is just the Gravidrill. And I'm going to start with a cutter that's out of adjustment. So it's well out of adjustment. And I know this spacing is supposed to be two inches. So I'm going to set up that two inches as my preset. So I'm going to go into my special menu, which is the zero and the stop. Number eight for new home. I'm going to go to my preset, which is number four. And then the number two, I know it should be, theoretically, two inches. Put a couple of leading zeros, two, zero, zero, zero. Enter. And then I'm going to just accept and exit, which is the number four. And then toggle, reset, to clear it. Okay, so that's the prescribed distance. Your distance may be a little bit different. So I'm going to take my cutter to a convenient zero, which I know I go up all the way to the top, and I'm going to go down to my pointer assembly down to zero okay so here's my initial zero point I'm going to insert my cutter into here spin it down and now I'm going to just arrow over the material and I'm going to do a cutter set number one. So I go Z set, number nine. And because this has a touch sensor, it'll stop automatically. I'm sorry, let me turn the toggle one, three. I have been playing with it and I turned the uh, touch sensor off on this machine. So I'm going to do that again. Z set, number nine. Now if it did not have a touch sensor, obviously I would just watch when it got near the bottom. And now I'm going to take this cutter, which you remember was well out of adjustment, and I'm going to take it down. And then I'm just going to press the number 5 to go up in place. And then I'm going to expose about 42 thousandths of the cutter. And I can feel the cutter sticking out from there. And I'll just... Now I want to do a cutter set number 2. So I'm going to go Z set. Press the toggle key until I get to manual cutter set number two and if I press confirm it also turned on the air system cylinder and I'm going to take it down I'm going to go down until it touches the material and goes down just a little bit and then press the number five and then usually I want to clear a bead from here just to make sure a bead pops out of there Okay, so it's pretty well set. So I'm going to do my first run, and you can see that this has the hose. You can either have the hose on the right or the left side, but it'll have these bars here that keep it away from touching. So I now have that in there. I'm going to go toggle eight, and uh, in this system, it's an air system, so I'm going to press the number two for dual cutter set number two 
and then confirm to initiate. I'm sorry, I have to reset it to home. Okay, in the later versions, you can reset it to home and it does remember that it's in the Braille mode. So I'm going to go ahead and send the job. Engrave, output, and send. So the job is over here. It's just a couple of letters. <clears throat> and the first thing that I'm going to do during initial setup is I'm going to press the start button to have it run the Braille. Just ran the holes and it moves back. And now, before it starts going down, I press the emergency stop button. Now, the reason I did that is because right now it should be going over and beating into a hole, but I want to double check that. So, I'm going to go into Z set, go to number two, and confirm. The cylinder goes down, and now I'm going to press the number 9 key and see if it would have inserted a bead. And it did insert the bead, but when I looked at it, I could tell it was a little bit off. So I'm going to reset that real quick. I'm going to go into my special mode. Number 8, new home. And I'm going to go to my preset. And instead of 2 inches, I'm going to make it 2, two inches 020. So I'm going to change number 2, leading zeros. 2, 0, 2, 0 and then enter and number four and now just press reset to make sure it implements that change I'm going to send a new job engrave output and send press start Energize. Okay, toggle reset. Toggle eight, number two, to be in air mode. And, and it still remembers the job. Press start and we'll run it again. inserted. Now I'm going to put it in auto run this time. I'm going to go toggle and then reset to clear. Now I'm going to go toggle 8 and number 4 for the air system in auto run and confirm and confirm. So just to kind of prove the point I'm going to just take this piece of material take another piece of material and put it on top of this and send this exact same job. Go to engrave, output, and send. And now it says AR for auto run and braille mode. And now it's a new job that's sent. I press the start button. And now it's the touch sensor that's setting this, the distances. You can see the touch sensor light going on. I know it's hard to 
see, but unfortunately, mixed in this is uh, both black and clear beads, but all the beads are perfectly inserted. One of the other things that I like to do is just press down on them to make sure that they stay perfect. 